Hi guys, Velarge TCG here, and welcome back to another pack opening. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss future pack openings for Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And today we have something a little bit different, not so much a pack opening, I guess it's still kind of an opening of sorts, but I recently downloaded Wish just to kind of see what they had, and uh, I saw this, uh, it's kind of a mystery package for now, but um, they were advertising it as Pokemon cards, and you could choose between like... I don't know, somewhere between like five and 200 um, like Pokemon GX. It said they were all full art. And uh, if you shopped on Wish before, you might know a lot of the stuff there is a scam pretty much. Um, it doesn't look anything like it does in the pictures or descriptions. And a lot of the times, not many people have purchased it and left a description. So it's kind of hard to tell what you're going to get. Um, but I decided to just try my luck and... Uh, see what we can get. So, without further ado, let's get into this mystery package. Alrighty guys, so, mystery package. Um, pretty excited to open this, I know I say that um, about every pack opening I do, but this time I actually am pretty excited. So, another thing I got from Wish was this cool little thing here too to help me open the packs from now on. Uh, take a look. Pretty cool, I, I do like that. Uh, so let's see if we can use it here to cut open these packs. Oh wow, it's really sharp. It was only a couple dollars too, I think I just had to pay for the shipping on it. That's the cool thing about Wish, is that um, everything's really pretty cheap, but um, you know, the quality isn't always there. So let's see, God, what is this? <laughs> Pocket Monsters card game, GX box, 120 pieces. So. I couldn't remember the size that I ordered. Uh, I thought I ordered like a 65 version. Okay, so there's a Pokemon on the back of it. Pocket Monsters card game. This has got to be fake already. Uh, but let's see here. Just uh, slice into the top there. And see what's inside. Even if it is a scam, uh, I thought it'd still be kind of cool to open these and just uh, see what we can find. See what other people are buying. Or maybe... I'm the only idiot that bought this, who knows? All right, let's see here. I wonder if they're just all gonna be like, oh God. <laughs> all right, moment of truth. Let's see if these uh, pocket monsters cards are real. We have quite a bit to go through. Oh my goodness. They're all just super crazy shiny like that. Uh, let's take a look at the back of this Sylveon here. So first one, let's put this guy away. And this uh, Sylveon GX here, oh my god, yeah, these are so fake. Um, you can definitely just tell by feeling them, they're, they're super flimsy just by looking at them. Um, man, I'm not really sure how I would, uh... well this is supposed to be like textured, you know, it's just super, super fake. Um, so definitely do not buy Pokemon cards off Wish. We've learned that and we're only three minutes into the video, but there are, what, 120 of these? So we might as well take a look at them and see what we got. So I got this Rainbow Rare Incineroar GX. Nice, uh, <laughs> Rainbow Rare Metagross GX. Leafeon GX, and this is the shiny one. So I actually pulled this myself and uh, it's definitely supposed to be textured, but these are just like, really um i don't know glossy not textured at all got the lichen rock gx nice nice uh glaceon gx and they're all like it's not the it's not just the camera they're just like really dark uh palkia gx okay i do like palkia glaceon shiny umbreon gx uh this card is actually worth like over a hundred dollars so no way they're putting that in there i think i spent like 20 something dollars on these so Figured even if they were fake, I thought they would just be like older, um, not like older cards, but you know, uh, like ultra rare style like this where they're not textured, but just kind of, um, uh, you know, not valuable is what I was trying to say. So Sceptile GX, a Blacephalon, Verizian, Tyranitar GX, Entei GX, Raichu, Mewtwo, Another Raichu, another Mewtwo, Solgaleo, cool, cool, Tapu Bulu, Espeon, Primarana, Serena, Charizard GX, big money, uh, just kidding, <laughs> these are all fake, 
Lucario, Flareon, Sandslash, Decidueye. I don't even know what I'm going to do with these now. I might just, I don't want to throw $20 in the trash, you know. Maybe I'll just try to uh, sell them. I would obviously advertise them as, you know, these are 100% fake. Um, but, you know, if it's your favorite Pokemon, who knows? You could use it for, like, a field center if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, perhaps. Um, hey, uh, Donald Trump, nice. We got the Lurantis, cool, cool, Lapras, GX. Trying to show them off the best I can here without, uh, you know, too much glare. They're just so bad. Uh, Solgaleo, Tauros, another full art Donald Trump, very nice. Incineroar, Ampharos, Rainbow Rare, cool. Blastoise, another Leafeon, Mega Blastoise EX. Now, this, no. They're just like so dark. I don't know why they're so dark. Maybe I'll like cut into one and see um, Ash Greninja. Oh, very nice. Uh, just like see how much um, like effort they went into, they put into this. Like see what they printed them on or try to at least. Wow. <laughs> I knew right when I bought them that they were all gonna be fake. Oh, that's cool. It's like the gold and the Soul Galio. These almost look like they're in order here. Machamp GX, Marshadow, Galisapod. If only they were a little brighter. Ho ho, that's pretty cool. Salazzle GX. Yeah, I have this card too in a GX form. Maybe we'll take this video too to show off um, some of my actual collection and just kind of compare and see which cards of these that I do have. And then. Oh, that's cool. Charizard GX, Rainbow Rare, if only. If only they were real. But yeah, like I was saying, I kind of thought they'd be like just like not valuable real cards, but um, I definitely got played here. Somebody is enjoying my 26 or so dollars right now, laughing at me because it probably took, I don't know, two bucks to make all these. And like I said, they sold an even higher number of cards. Like you get like up to 205, I think it was, but. Lord, I'm glad I did I did not do that. I used to have this card, but I sold it when it was worth a lot of money. Sylveon GX. Yeah, they could have made them a little bit more like bright so you could actually see them. It's actually kind of hard to, to see these. Even off the camera when I look um, not through my phone. Turnator, I like Turnator. He's a cool Pokemon. Uh, they're just really hard to see. Vikavolt, Tapu Koko, Toxapex, nice. Yeah, all really smooth and not real. Another Charizard. Didn't get the shiny Charizard, though. I'm surprised. Uh, so I don't know what Pokemon this is. Let's try to see um, how they're printing these, maybe. I'm going to just peek around here so I don't cut myself. This is a really sharp knife. Oh, nice. I got right in there. Let's see what these guys are made out of. Just like a really bad sticker, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, that's about all it is. Um, just kind of like a sticker. Let's see here. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I've never ripped into a real Pokemon card. Um, but I'm sure that it's not... <laughs> it doesn't uh, feel or look like that. Yeah, this is definitely just... A uh, sticker glued on to another sticker, and that is about that. So here is a nice big pile of garbage Pokemon cards that I have, but let's take a look at my uh, collection of Pokemon cards uh, just for fun here, because these were all fakes, so and now let's look at some uh, real cool Pokemon cards. Alright, so I'm back now. It's a slightly different angle. Um, sorry if you can see stuff in the background, but uh, it's kind of the setup we're rolling here. I had, to, I had to put the camera a little bit higher so I could fit all of the uh, binder page in the shot and then move this a little bit because this big light's here. So uh, yeah, I just had to go grab my binder real quick. I do have some other pretty cool cards. I'll show those off at the end. I don't keep those in my book. Um, but for the first page here, and these are all cards that I've pulled. Uh, I don't think I've actually purchased any of these online. Uh, some of these I pulled on TikTok, like I think this top row here I actually did pull for TikTok videos. Uh, so like I've mentioned before, definitely go check those TikTok videos out. Uh, pretty cool cards I've opened there, but uh, let's start rolling through and see what we got here. 
uh, you might remember, uh, sorry, you remember Neuvern from that, um, uh, you know, all the hidden fates. I've done this quite a few of those. Uh, just got this Malamar not too, too long ago. This Vile Plume was from TikTok. Uh, got these amazing rares here. Why did I say that? So weird. Amazing rares here. Um, the Gibble, Gabite, and Garchomp that I pulled. All from Hidden Fates. Um, this is the only one I pulled off camera. It was supposed to be on camera, but uh, something happened with the audio that got really messed up. Uh, here are the four Charizard Vs. I think this one has two in it. Um, there's that Salazzle GX I was talking about that I knew that I had um, actually real full art. Uh, see if I can pull him out here. Yeah, you can see that he's like textured and then uh, clearly not fake. A lot different from that other uh, literal pile of garbage. Uh, here is Leafeon GX and my Decidueye, the two shiny ones. I have another one in the back. Uh, this Rillaboom is really cool. I like him a lot. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Some older cards. I, I uh, remember getting this a long time ago. Um, this is a cool pull. I do believe I pulled that one off camera, sadly. Uh, a bunch of Dark Rise up here. Just pulled this Drapion um, in the previous video, actually. Let's see, Shiny Ralts. Have this older uh, Sylveon back here. That was cool in the Mawiles. I used to play these cards in a deck that I uh, had a long time ago. And then just some Water Guys here. Some uh, Ground or Fighting. The Shiny Lucario. Uh, some more Charizards. You may have noticed the uh, the reverse one that I pulled here. That was pretty cool. Let's see what else we have. Some dragon cards. Uh, some older cards. Cool story with these. Um, like any e-reader Pokemon you see are like really old cards. Like this is Jungle. This um, Pinsir. Um, I actually bought those cards off of some guy at. Uh, Tim Hortons, it's a coffee shop that I used to work at, and he said he had some old Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I was like, well, I'll take them. He's like, I'll sell them to you, so I said, sure, why not? Uh, so I bought them for $15, uh, but, you know, almost made my money back with that one right there alone, uh, and then you'll definitely, you'll see why it was a good investment later down in the video. Uh, so here's another Cloyster from Expedition. Um, this Squirtle, I think that's from Expedition as well, um, worth, you know, it's only a common card and it's worth a couple bucks. Uh, oh yeah, this too, this, uh, Kabutops EX, that was really cool. Uh, we got that Golem back there, the E-Reader, uh, same with the Anorith. Got an old Machamp, I believe that was from the, or no, I think I pulled that from XY Evolutions pack. Uh, just pulled this if you saw my previous video We got the Dragonite Delta species back there. That was really cool and the Magneton. I pulled that as well um, This one I didn't pull that was in that guy's collection that I purchased same with this And uh, then we got some more shiny Pokemon down here What else got a dark Dragonite that was really cool. I just found that in some bulk that I purchased from that guy. I think that's like a $35 card uh, all by itself. This Tyranitar, uh, when I was a kid, my dad took me to a bank, and I found that in a book, in the, like, the kid's section of a bank. Uh, so that was pretty neat. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, just some more fire Pokemon and a random Cop Raja. Uh, I thought those Blaziken EXs were pretty cool. Uh, another Charizard here. That's like a common Charizard. I think it's from, um, actually I don't remember what that's from, but it's worth like eight bucks. And then, let's see, just some blank pages here. Okay. Uh, then we got some cool stuff. Some Full Art Trainer cards. Um, the Full Art and the Rainbow Rare Hyper uh, Professor's Research. We got the Hyper Rare Peers and a Full Art Bosses Orders. Um, if you're here from TikTok, this is actually open from a pack on TikTok that I haven't uploaded uh, yet. So that'll be really cool to see. Uh, once I do pull that, I kind of freaked out. But since I always uh, get rid of the um, audio for TikTok, you can't hear me <laughs> freak out, sadly. Um, got the power plant, ordinary rod. I didn't I didn't actually um, pull this. I actually bought that from a card store that's local to us. We got some other full art trainer cars. Uh, we got the... Um, Rainbow, Kabu, and the Sonya. 
Uh, the Full Art Misty's Determination, that was really cool. Pulled that from a um, uh, XY Evolutions. This I got off my friend, and then I pulled the rest of these. Uh, just some cool energies there. These are just other random trainers, and this is my favorite page. Uh, I have my Decidueyes, because I love Decidueye. I'm missing a couple. Um, and then the Galarian Obstagoon, I did pull that on the channel too. That was really cool to pull. And then this I got off my friend because he pulled it. And I do play the Eternatus uh, deck um, in the actual Pokemon trading card game. So I thought that was really cool. And then just this last stack of cards here. Um, I'll go back to the regular view for that so we can get a better look at those. All right, so back to our uh, regular angle here, if you will. Um, these are cards I don't keep in the binder because when I go out, um, I bring my Pokemon binder, my Yu-Gi-Oh binder, even if I go to U just Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments is what I'm, uh, uh, what I usually go to is just Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. Haven't been to a Pokemon tournament yet, uh, but I definitely plan on it. Uh, my friend Adam and I, you've seen him here on the channel, shout out to Adam. Um, we're definitely going to start going to some Pokemon tournaments once this whole COVID thing is over. Uh, so really excited for that, but um, yeah, for like Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, I'll just bring my Pokemon binder uh, when they start back up again. And even before COVID happened, I brought them uh, just to see if anyone was interested, you know? People love trading cards of all kinds, so I uh, figured why not? So starting off the collection, we have this uh, Zamazenta V and Zacian V. Um, I just realized that these are my cousin Mason's, uh, so shout out to you, Mason. He sent... Um, me back to New York with these uh, we each have our own um, but I'm gonna get these graded um, you know just so they look nice and have a little extra value uh, so that's why I have these we're gonna get them graded uh, we have this Typhlosion EX but yeah like I said I don't keep these in the book just in case um, I've had some stuff stolen from me in the past it was like a play mat I think um, so I've learned my lesson and we keep valuable stuff at home now in case, uh, or unless someone else wants to actually purchase, uh, them. So then I'll meet up somewhere, but yeah, we don't keep that kind of stuff on you. Um, then we have this Mr. Mime EX. It's kind of, um, you know, covered up by the tape here. We'll take that out a little bit. Um, but yeah, these were all, most of these cards that I'm about to show you, except for one, um, this... Uh, Typhlosion included was in that like $15 like, bundle of cards in a plastic shopping bag. Um, so little did I know and little did he know, you know, I had no idea what the Pokemon cards were worth. I was just mainly in it for the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, but I had no, it's like going to a yard sale and like finding somebody selling a bunch of old Pokemon cards for like 20 bucks. Like, you know, you just made the jackpot pretty much or hit the jackpot. Um, but I didn't know that I hit the jackpot until like four or five years after. Um, I had already left my job at that coffee shop, um, moved to two different houses and two new jobs. Um, so five, four to five years later, and I just found them in a box. I was actually helping my girlfriend look for triple A batteries. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember these cards. Let me just take a look through them. And this is where I found all of these really, really cool old cards. Uh, you saw a lot of them in the book. Um, and then these ones, like I said, I'm getting graded, so I keep them out. Uh, like this Dragonite. Dragonite uh, from Expedition. Really, really solid card. Um, in really, really good condition, too. A lot of the cards um, that were just kind of like out and about uh, in that plastic bag that he had were uh, like really just beat to hell, honestly. They were. And um, But there was a couple that were in like a... I don't know if you've had like a binder... Um, with the you can take the pages in and out like with the binder clips uh, they were kind of in those and luckily they didn't get smashed up too, too bad in that box that I had for so long uh, so here's a Dragonite here's a Charizard um, I pulled this one myself actually a very long time ago but like I said I didn't know um, what Pokemon cards were worth really and um, my friend Mike and my friend Adam they found this just like in my stuff and they were like, Alex, this is a Charizard. I'm like, okay. Uh, and it turns out it was worth like a couple hundred dollars. I think it was like two or 300. Um, but it has a little bit of whitening on the back. So, and then my most prized possession uh, Pokemon card is another Charizard. Uh, it's this Charizard uh, from Expeditions. 
or Expedition. Uh, 2002 is when Expedition came out, and this card was just sitting in that guy's bulk. This card goes for $1,500 near mint. So um, to have purchased this and a lot of other cards like that Dragonite, um, like that Mr. Mime and the Typhlosion, uh, all the other e-reader cards in my binder um, for $15. Uh, this card is actually light plate. I'll, I'll take it out. It is double sleeved here and in the top loader just in case. Um, but you can kind of see right here um, where there's the tiniest, tiniest little crease. Um, so that's pretty unfortunate that it couldn't have just been kept in like a little bit better of condition. Um, and then there's just like this little white mark here and uh, right here along the back side. So uh, if any of you guys grade cards, uh, what would you call that? I think I would call it light played, but I don't know with that little uh, crease right there. It's very tiny. The I'm not going to pull it out of this case itself, but um, there's like no print lines on the um, hollow foil at all. It's, it's pretty much pristine. Uh, I would probably call it light played. And uh, light plate, it goes for about $900, so uh, $15 for this Charizard. I'd say that's a pretty good deal, but yeah, that's kind of it for the collection and, and the video itself, I think. Um, let me know what you think of me getting scammed <laughs> for 20 something dollars, and uh, let me know what you think of my collection. Um, would you get those cards graded, and uh, what was your favorite card? So that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.